First, I want to thank everyone for being here. The support was wonderful. And, uh, you know, you're supporting the homeless who really have had no voice in this. And we are here being their voice. We wish they could have spoken. But since no one would listen to them, we chose to be their voice. And I have to say that I'm disappointed uh, that a decision wasn't made today. We were hoping for the dismissal because we did this out of justice for the homeless because every single human being has a right to be heard. Every single human being has a right to a, a place of rest, a home, some place to live. And if our homeless are out there in the streets, it's up to us to make sure that they have a place. And we will be working on this issue right to the very end. We're not going to give up on it. No matter what the judge says, we're not going to give up on it because we have a higher authority. And our, uh, our authority tells us, go on and continue the fight for the homeless. And we will continue to do that. And, you know, we're doing it with your support. And your support means so much to us. And we can't thank you enough for being here. And I know that your presence spoke to the judge. But I was hoping that your presence would make him say, okay, let him go dismiss the charges, uh, which he didn't do. Um, some of the things he said I disagreed with, but he's the judge and I'm not. But um, we're going to continue. I think we'll probably uh, think of um, What do you have to say? Well, I just said thank you for everybody for coming. Um, the fact that there's some progress being made is because everybody has been coming out. I think people have been awoken. There's been This has been a long campaign. It's probably going to be um, a long one until we completely solve the issue. It could be years, but we're trying to get people inside for right now. But we need people to be in this for the long run because there's going to be more actions. There's going to be more organizing. And if we're in this together, I think this is, this is an issue we can solve in this community. Homelessness is not an intractable problem in Rochester. We can solve it, but we just need to keep going. Whatever our barriers, we just got to get around them. And um, as long as we're in this together, as long as we're all supporting each other like we are now, um, we can solve it. So I just want to thank everybody for coming. It means a lot. And I just want to add that, you know, we do have a temporary building that we're going into, which is a bridge to the permanent building. And uh, Ken Glazer is letting us use uh, the Canal Street uh, building, uh, the loading dock, and we are working with the city to make it legal, yeah. to make everything legal so that homeless can stay there at least for three months, if not more, until we find a permanent building. Uh, we are, money is coming in, thanks to the community, the money is coming in, and uh, that money is going to be used definitely to find a place, a home for the a safe haven for the homeless, and to hire a staff and to bring in all the help that the homeless need to help move them on to into housing and to meet whatever needs they have. Um, it isn't just the idea of getting them into a building. We will continue to work with them so that they can get on their feet. For some, it'll take longer than others, but we are willing to put our time and our effort in working with people wherever they are. And no matter how long it takes, we will be working with them. But we'd rather have a building to have them in rather than have them in tents um, outside. And you all know how cold it is right now, and we were very concerned about them last night. It was not our desire that the tents last this long. But since we didn't have the cooperation we needed, they are there now. But hopefully, maybe within a week or two, we will have a place for them to be, at least temporarily, until we can get a permanent place. So uh, all you're doing and all the support of the community is really helping us to move on. Uh, because the support is there. People are coming in bringing food, bringing uh, blankets, bringing everything that the homeless need, uh, plus money. And that's what we need to make this building uh, possible. So thank you. God bless you. And we meet again February. Okay, let me say something, I say something too. Yeah, I just want to thank everyone for their support here also. Um, you know, the thing that we, we really need now is for you to express you know, to the to the city and the county, your concern about the homeless situation here in Rochester. We need the people to really, you know, write letters, whatever you want to say, call the mayor, call the county, you know, uh, call the county exec and say, we got a real problem here in Rochester with the homeless. You know, look at this weather right now that we have. You know, it's like almost, you know, 10 degrees outside at the moment, and we have a whole bunch of people outside that are, you know, that are really suffering. That is not necessary if we had the cooperation of the city and the county. That's what we really want. That's why we got arrested here, is to have cooperation. Your, your, your officials will help, you know, will cooperate if you give them that, you know, if you tell them your opinion about the situation. So I'm just, again, thank you for coming, and we're very, very grateful, and, you know, pray for us. We appreciate your prayers.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.